Land Rover must have a giant reservoir of coolness at its Solihull HQ, ready for the Range Rover design team to pump into its newest concepts. Because ever since the release of the groundbreaking Evoque close to a decade ago, each new Range Rover release has sent the cool factor closer to sub-zero. And this impossibly sleek SUV is the new Villar, a fourth member of the current Range Rover lineup, filling the space between the compact Evoque and the closer to full-size Range Rover Sport. It's a five-seater that in true Range Rover fashion manages to combine top-shelf luxury with fuss-free functionality and genuine four-wheel drive off-road capability. With eight model grades, six engines and a seemingly unlimited range of option packs available, cost of entry for the Velar stretches from around 70k up to a figure closer to 170k for the limited run first edition we're driving, which as the name implies, is available for the Velar's first year of production. And we've been invited to steer multiple models on the Australian launch, through the city and suburbs, on the highway, as well as a deep dive off-road. The Velar's slim LED head and tail lights set the tone for the latest expression of Range Rover's unique design language. The smallest wheels you'll find on the Velar are a sizeable 18 inches, and neat touches like the signature deployable flush door handles help the car record a surprisingly low drag coefficient. Range Rover calls its drive to reduce complexity, reductive design, and a focus on large, clean surfaces has produced a stunning interior. This Touch Pro Duo system consists of two 10-inch screens working in unison to deliver all of the functions that a battery of knobs and switches would in a more conventional layout. Add in this 12.3-inch digital instrument display and you're looking at a beautifully pure yet functional dash and console. Step into the back and there's heaps of space. I'm sitting behind the driver's seat set to my 183 centimetre position. And there's tons of legroom and lots of headroom. And the standard of the materials and the quality of the fit and finish make this a supremely pleasant and comfortable way to go. Cargo space is generous, with close to 700 litres available with the split folding rear seat upright and more than 1700 litres opening up with it folded. Maximum towing capacity is impressive, with advanced tow assist optional across the range. Adaptive suspension tech is standard across the range, with all six cylinder models featuring full air suspension. Even in this first edition, riding on huge 22 inch rims, ride quality, especially in the comfort setting, is super smooth, without compromise to body control or dynamic response. We've sampled three different engines, the four cylinder and V6 turbo diesel, and the three litre V6 supercharged petrol engine. Standard transmission is a smooth eight speed auto and mid range thrust from the mega torquey diesels is huge, while the petrol engine's more linear power delivery is accompanied by a rortier engine and exhaust sound. Steering that's accurate but overly light in comfort firms up to a weightier setting in our dynamic mode. And even over patchy bitumen, the car remains ultra quiet and refined. But if you really want to talk rough roads, the full-time four-wheel drive Velar is ready to get stuck in with a slew of off-highway technology on board to help traverse tough terrain. And when it comes to safety, all Velars feature AEB with pedestrian detection. Other highlights including reverse cross traffic detection, lane departure warning and driver condition monitoring to keep an eye on the driver's state of awareness. It's always a subjective call, but we think the Velar is one of the best looking SUVs on the planet, setting new benchmarks for interior design and ergonomic efficiency. And if you want to head bush, that Land Rover DNA is there in abundance. Range Rover's on a roll and the likes of Audi's Q5, the Jaguar F-Pace, Merck's GLC and Porsche's Macan should be worried. Cheerio!